The wildfire action setting in antivirus profiles blocks viruses that wildfire identifies in content signature updates in the antivirus profile. The wildfire decoder actions best practice check ensures the decoders are set to reset both in the wildfire action column. You have been redirected to the Welcome to the BPA Plus screen from a BPA report or from the Get Help section. The first step is to click Browse Files to upload the latest text support file. Navigate to the text support file and click Open. Now that the text support file has been successfully uploaded, we can continue to the next step in the process. Click Next. This screen lets you know how to set up your PanOS CLI. We also recommend that you back up your existing configuration before you start making any configuration changes on your firewall. Along with the recommended best practice commands, BPA Plus will also provide a command to take a backup of your existing configuration. Here are the commands that are generated for you to backup your existing configuration. The first command enters configuration mode. The next command saves the configuration to a file named backup existing config.xml and the last command exits configuration mode. Click Next. Now the list shows all the best practice failed checks, but for the purposes of this demo, we will remediate the antivirus profile decoder wildfire actions best practice check. Click Next. This displays the antivirus profile decoder wildfire actions at the top. It says please review the best practice settings and select the desired options for your configuration. By default, this screen will show best practice settings. As you can see, FTP, HTTP, IMAP, POP3, SMB, SMTP, and also HTTP2 are all being set to reset both, which is the best practice. The settings highlighted in blue are the settings that are being changed to adhere to best practices. If you click on the existing settings, you will immediately see the settings that you have in your configuration for antivirus profile decoder wildfire actions. And you will see a notice on the top. It says, are you sure you want to deselect the best practice setting for this profile? As we advise against this, as it will make your system less secure. As we want to take actions against this failed best practice check, we will select the best practice settings and click next. The next section is to generate set commands. At the top, you can see a download all commands button. This is useful for remediating multiple best practice checks when you want to download a file with all the recommended best practice commands. Now below are the list of best practice recommendation commands along with the command to take a backup of your existing configuration. Now we'll click copy commands. The next step is to open an SSH session to the firewall. Now paste the commands in the CLI. As you can see, there are no warnings. We are good for the purposes of this demo. I will perform a commit operation. As you can see, the configuration was committed successfully. So as a next step, we will check our firewall settings. So we'll go to our firewall and navigate to Objects, Security Profiles, and Antivirus. As you can see, our existing settings for best practice virus are all set to allow under the wildfire action. So we'll refresh our firewall page, and now you can see the best practice virus settings for wildfire have all been set to reset both. This concludes the demo.